had a really great email I got today from an account I've been working on a year long process. Thought I had it one, didn't. Now she's back alive, baby. My name's Bobby Dietz. I've been making videos like this on YouTube for years now. Make sure you subscribe, follow along. Things are happening pretty fast and it's fun. Really cool uh, that this deal has been brought back to life. I tried for a year to try and get this thing. I guess it's been now and finally gonna have a real opportunity to do it. Let's get in focus here. She wants to formally consider using us to do all their ad buy management and have the internal creative team feed us content to test. And that's really exciting. She wants to fly out to see her, see if we can, you know, figure out a way to work together, which isn't gonna be a problem. Every This is our ideal situation. We wanna be fed content and then load it and test it, and optimize for ROAS. So it's like a perfect thing for us. But that's a really exciting way to start the day, an unexpected email from an account that we would love to work with. So thumbs up, good things today. We had our partners meeting yesterday as well. And one of the things that we talked about was the potential to bring on somebody with a book just kind of formally had that interest conversation to see where our partners were at with that and it turns out that we're all kind of on the same page like if it's going to help us grow it's the right person we can bring their book in make our overall account number grow cross sell services uh it'd be really exciting there's a lot of ways to do that you know bring your book in give it to us you get a secure salary with commission I'm really not sure how it would work exactly. I just know now is the fun part where we get to explore all the different ways to have it work out and see if we can make a deal and rope in some great people because that's gonna help us grow as fast as possible. I listened to a podcast on niche pursuits talking about buying businesses as opposed to building businesses and it's apparently, according to this guy who's super successful, the fastest way to grow your business. And it makes sense. I mean, if you can bring something in like a business that's aligned with yours, suddenly your total revenue goes up dramatically in a very, very short amount of time. Based on that, I was really interested in bringing people in, coupled with the, one of the previous videos about the guy calling me crazy for taking on debt, personal debt and liability really leads me to believe that bringing in other companies and even sacrificing something like equity or giving up dividends or shares or something like that might even be on the table. Naturally, we want to try and get the best deal possible for ourselves, but I'm kind of open to anything right now to try and help the company grow. Uh, one of the valuation elements of a selling and buying agencies is their growth line, their growth projections. It's a very, very big deal. So we have to make sure we're always growing as fast as possible. So anyway, it was a fun conversation. Something we're all thinking about on the same page about. Just had a meeting with Matthew, who's the Amazon buyer that we were thinking about hiring to come in and work on all of our Amazon accounts so that we can scale that part of the business and try and sign more clients. He actually has a big book of business as well. He's got, I think he's got 10 different clients, he said. So if we can manage to pull his clients into our book, and bring our book size up, bring more clients in, and then cross sell all those services, that would be a dream situation for us in terms of escalating our growth even quicker. But from his perspective, it seems like it might be a really good fit as well, not only because he likes us and we know him from previous time together, but because he wants to really focus his attention on Amazon and not necessarily focus on new biz dev, which would be the job of other members of the company. So it could be pretty complimentative. Which is like the best case scenario for us because we just wanna make sure that he wants to work with us. You know, once we know that he wants to work with us, then we can get all this other stuff figured out. How much he gets paid, what it looks like, is there commission and what level, is it capped, is it not? What's he wanna do with management long term? Is he want a team? You know, all that kind of stuff. We've got this great solution for this Amazon buyer that kind of fell in our lap. It's somebody we trust and know and I think is very bright and can build this big team and be a part of it long term. He has a mentor who is really established in the agency world. He sold a business uh, back in the day, an agency, and is now, I guess, coaching this kid on what to do and uh, how to do what he's doing and scale and grow. And I'm sure he's gonna end up talking to him about what we did and give him some thoughts and advice, which is gonna be welcomed because we haven't technically done this before and we're all researching how do we do it, what does it look like, what do we need to say, how do we need to do it, all that kind of stuff. It could be a perfect fit and go really well. We'll see. That is four different tripods, which puts me at the top. I've got everything I need to get this interview, kind of podcasty type of show up, 
and running. I got four different cameras. I got a switcher, a storage, I've got tripods, I've got mics, I've got everything I need with cords. I just now I gotta buy a bag to store it all in and start booking meetings, man, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I know it's the next step because a lot of people are moving in this direction. There's not that many podcasts out there. There's only a million podcasts in the US. That's not that many. There's a lot of reasons why I'm starting it. I'm gonna make a video about why I'm starting a podcast as my first podcast. I thought that was kind of appropriate, but there's a lot of reasons. So it's only good and I'm excited because it's getting close, man, we're almost there.